This was the moment that a 32,000 ton container ship slammed into a steel bridge in Baltimore, toppling the structure in a matter of seconds. The Simpsons, a show celebrated for its animated antics and humor, has astonishingly evolved into a modern day oracle. Beyond its comedic storylines, this iconic series has left audiences baffled with its eerie knack for predicting real world events across technology, politics, sports, and entertainment over three decades. The mystery of how it achieved such foresight remains unsolved. Here are 15 shocking Simpsons predictions that became true. Number 15. Faulty Voting Machines In a famous episode named Treehouse of Horror 18, which aired in 2007, The Simpsons stepped into the area of political comedy, unwittingly forecasting a significant issue with defective voter machines. The episode depicts Homer's attempt to vote for Barack Obama in the United States presidential election, only to have the computerized voting system constantly change his vote to the Republican candidate, John McCain. One of those electronic voting dealies, one vote for McCain, two votes for McCain, three votes for McCain, six votes for President McCain. Hey, I only meant one of those votes for McCain. What was meant to be a lighthearted remark on the dependability of automated voting systems took on unanticipated significance four years later during the 2012 United States presidential election. A viral video from Pennsylvania appeared, mimicking the hilarious scenario that The Simpsons had jokingly imagined. The video shows a polling computer incorrectly moving votes from Barack Obama to his opponent, Mitt Romney. This real-life occurrence sparked significant worry about the electoral process's integrity, and the vulnerabilities inherent in computerized voting technologies, inadvertently tapping into an issue that had been received with mistrust. The show jokingly addressed the possible flaws of the emerging system, although a voting machine's forecast of faulty vote tabulation was not improbable. The astonishing parallel between satire and reality piqued people's interest. This fortuitous prediction demonstrated the Simpsons writer's extraordinary ability to foresee complicated technological and sociological quandaries. The episode's discovery is just another proof of The Simpsons' unrivaled ability to transcend ordinary entertainment and interact with genuine reality. Beyond its comic setting, the story sparked serious debate about voting security, technology adoption, and the integrity of election systems. The satirical humor sparked significant conversations that extended well beyond the sphere of satire. Number 14. Donald Trump's Presidency The Simpsons stepped into the world of political forecasting long before it occurred, a stunning tribute to its capacity to foresee future events. The year 2000 marked a key episode in the show's historical history titled, Bart to the Future. The Simpsons imaginatively presented the concept of Donald Trump ascending to the presidency of the United States, a concept that would later shift from comedy to reality. Within the episode's surreal reference, Lisa Simpson emerges as an unusual president entrusted with resolving a financial crisis left by her predecessor, President Trump. At the time of the episode's premiere, the daring notion of Donald Trump, the larger-than-life real estate billionaire and reality TV celebrity, contending for and securing the top echelons of American leadership, looked to be a distant speculative possibility. Nonetheless, this animated hypothesis threw an odd shadow into the records of the time. Nearly two decades later, in the fateful year of 2016, the unlikely became definite as Donald Trump declared his campaign and then won the presidency. While The Simpsons avoided the perilous seas of foresight in policy forecasts, it indisputably reflects the zeitgeist of the time, incorporating sarcastic remarks on political figures into its humorous narrative thread. Trump's portrayal as a fictitious president reflected the bombastic outlines of his larger-than-life character and his widespread influence in popular culture. The Simpsons has an uncanny capacity to extract the essence of cultural currents and transform them into enthralling, humorous stories that tickle the collective imagination. The episode used humor to depict the core of Trump's ascension to president without directly anticipating particular events. Surprisingly, this comic picture foretold a real-world event, having a deep and long-lasting influence on both American politics and the global arena. The satirical prism through which the program evaluated Trump's leadership managed to isolate the essential features of his rise to power providing thought-provoking analysis that went beyond simple prediction. The broadcast offers a unique view into the emerging political scene by emphasizing essential characteristics and processes. Number 13. Tiger Attack on Siegfried and Roy An episode titled Springfield or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love Legalized Gambling, which first aired in 1993 during the fifth season of The Simpsons, included a compelling plot that strangely foretold a real-life occurrence. This episode features a quirky performance with the colorful Las Vegas artists, Gunter and Ernst. The satire, 
which bears a striking resemblance to the legendary German-American animal trainers Siegfried and Roy, takes a dramatic turn when a white tiger unexpectedly attacks the two during their show. On October 2003, a decade later, reality mimics imagination in a startling confluence. In a live Las Vegas act, Roy Horn, one half of the legendary Siegfried and Roy combination, confronts a devastating attack by a seven-year-old white tiger called Monte Cor. The tiger bites Horn's neck and drags him off the stage. With eerie symmetry echoing the portrayed incident from The Simpsons, the strange connections between the fictional plot and the terrible truth strike a chord on many levels. Both events occur on a stage in Las Vegas, with a white tiger lunging during a live performance. The conclusion of the cartoon show indicated the end of Gunter and Ernst's act, whilst the attack on Roy Horn signaled the end of Siegfried and Roy's distinguished career. This confluence of events unavoidably raises interesting concerns about the foresight of The Simpsons. While the series may have just capitalized on a plausible risk linked with animal trainers, the remarkable parallel between the fictitious scenario and the real-world catastrophe cannot be overlooked. The show's proclivity for eerily precise forecasts adds another dimension to its notoriety, stoking debate about its remarkable ability to foretell future events. The traumatic aftermath of the tiger attack would permanently change the course of Siegfried and Roy's historical adventure. Despite the episode's intended goal of humorous exaggeration, their enthralling blend of magic and exotic animal acts, which was once a staple of the Las Vegas scene, gave way to the sobering reality of Roy Horn's injuries and subsequent partial paralysis. The clash of art and life is poignant, as a frivolous story echoes in the gloomy halls of reality. Number 12. Underwater Emergency The tenacious spirit of adventure takes the ever-charming Homer Simpson into the depths of a thrilling underwater excursion in a memorable episode of The Simpsons, Season 17, Episode 10, titled Homer's Paternity Coot, a tale that unknowingly mimics real-world occurrences the episode begins with Homer trapped in a web of family intrigue. A common thirst for knowledge leads the pair into the enthralling depths of the ocean, each in their own submersible craft. Their mission, to discover secret wealth under the waters, buried within the confines of a sunken vessel named Piso Mojado. This courageous aquatic adventure, however, eventually runs into turbulent seas of its own. Homer's ship becomes entangled in a coral maze, trapping him in an immobilizing embrace. As the anxiety increases, the air he breathes becomes a perilous lifeline, with oxygen levels teetering on the verge of collapse. Homer's brave attempts against the sea's inexorable hold are quickly overpowered by oblivion. The Simpsons episode meets with a painful occurrence from the world outside the animated realm, and the unsettling congruence between fiction and reality takes center stage. A collective scream of recognition resounded among viewers in June 2013, when the episode's undersea ordeal bore startling parallels to a terrifying real-life tragedy. As the dust cleared in the real world, an alarming occurrence involving an ocean gate submersible embarked on a daring journey to uncover the ghostly ruins of the Titanic resting in the embrace of the Atlantic had occurred. The submarine set off on its journey with an estimated inventory of 96 hours worth of life-sustaining oxygen, carrying five passengers who shared a common desire for exploration. However, fate intervened and cut off touch with the submersible as the vessel sank below the depths. The world held its breath spreading a shroud of suspense that lasted for days. The stage drama of Homer's undersea adventure unwittingly reflects the heart-wrenching fears felt by people awaiting word on the fate of the Ocean Gate submersible. Number 11. Greece Economic Collapse In the year 2012, an episode called Politically Inept, with Homer Simpson expertly went into the domain of financial disasters, especially Greece's terrible economic collapse. In a remarkable combination of amusement and economic expertise, this episode expertly blended comedy with keen economic understanding, demonstrating the show's capacity to deliver both amusement and intellectual stimulation. Within the episode, a typically wacky sequence occurs when Homer Simpson appears on the screen of a television show. A scrolling ticker at the bottom of the screen, in a smart twist, draws viewers' attention with the headline, Europe puts Greece on eBay. This seemingly lighthearted and flippant remark hides its greater significance as it humorously highlights the dire reality of Greece's poor economic situation just a few years previously. The context for this amusing yet thought-provoking comment was Greece's financial catastrophe. Several years after this episode, the country discovered a massive budget deficit, which had swelled to more than four times the European Union's approved level, was the first crack in Greece's financial stability facade. This foreboding revelation signaled the start of a prolonged economic crisis characterized by high unemployment, social discontent, and a cycle of recurrent bailout interventions. Number 10. Richard Branson in Space In the enthralling episode, The War of Art, 
The Simpsons masterfully weaved a narrative that deviates beyond the world of space exploration. As the story progresses, a provocative examination of creative authenticity and moral complexity takes center stage. In contrast to its funny jokes, the episode interjects an interesting sequence showcasing Richard Branson, the visionary entrepreneur, submerged in the weightless tranquility of a spacecraft while appreciating his selected art collection. This enticing image of Branson's weightless contemplation within the confines of a spaceship is an unexpected sight to see. Notably, the episode makes an unintentional yet significant reference to current events. Richard Branson's bold ambition of spaceflight came true in 2021, when he embarked on a momentous mission on board one of his Virgin Galactic spaceships. Branson's entrance into space was widely anticipated, with the visionary's firm, Virgin Galactic, resolutely seeking the start of commercial space operations by 2023. While this episode's depiction of Branson's zero-gravity reverie may appear to be a foreshadowing, a closer look reveals an intriguing dynamic at work. The Simpsons authors were driven by the prevalent cultural debate around Branson's extravagant space projects. By the time this episode aired in 2014, Virgin Galactic had already grabbed significant attention and headlines in 2011. As a result, the inclusion of Branson's cosmic contemplation in the episode is a realistic reflection of the inevitable march of advancement and invention. Number 9. Smartwatches and Video Calls In episodes of The Simpsons, images of a futuristic society frequently appear, providing a tantalizing look into prospective technological marvels. Among this colorful vision, two major forecasts jump out. The introduction of smartwatches and the widespread usage of video calls. Viewers are taken to a universe where Lisa Simpson's engagement to an Englishman called Hugh unfolds in a 1995 episode titled Lisa's Wedding, which provides a 15-year jump into the future. A fascinating device takes center stage in this possible future, a wristwatch that smoothly doubles as a phone. This gadget, which is uncannily similar to modern smartwatches, elegantly combines traditional timekeeping with technological functionality, such as communication, texting, and health monitoring. Once only figments of the mind, these wearable wonders have now evolved into necessary everyday companions for countless people all over the world. Apple and Samsung have given this once fanciful notion new life, converting it into a practical and fast, actionable reality. Surprisingly, The Simpsons foresaw the pervasive rise of video conversations nearly a decade before Apple's innovative FaceTime introduction in 2010 or the soaring popularity of Skype. Characters in the same Lisa's Wedding episode have real-time talks via large displays that seamlessly connect them beyond distance. This remarkable depiction of video communication was more than just a passing aesthetic vision. It foretold a communication environment that was about to become a reality. Video chats have moved beyond novelty and into our personal and professional lives. From family reunions to corporate conventions, they span geographical divisions, decreasing our world while boosting our ties. Notably, during the COVID-19 epidemic, video chats became an even more important tool for work, learning, and social bonding, strengthening their critical importance. Number 8. Lady Gaga's Super Bowl Halftime Show Art frequently takes on the persona of life, and in an odd twist, there are times when life appears to imitate art. A 2012 episode of The Simpsons, titled Lisa Goes Gaga, previewed Lady Gaga's awe-inspiring Super Bowl halftime concert five years later. In an uncanny coincidence, in the aforementioned episode, the iconic pop superstar Lady Gaga entered the fictional realm of Springfield, intending to lift the community's spirits with a lavish show. The vignette began with Gaga doing dazzling acrobatic feats, soaring above the crowd with the help of wires, all while oozing her signature flamboyance. This cartoon extravaganza was a type of foreshadowing. In 2017, Lady Gaga's stunning presence took center stage as the featured performer for the Super Bowl 2017 halftime show. In a dazzling start, Gaga appeared to defy gravity by suddenly flying over the ceiling of Houston's NRG Stadium, held up by suspension wires. This breathtaking flying demonstration resembled her previous cartoon counterpart's Springfield performance. While Lady Gaga's Super Bowl performance differed from The Simpsons' version, the undeniable echo of the aerial aspect garnered notice. This strange synchronicity heightened the concept of The Simpsons' allegedly prophetic plots. Despite the fact that the relationship could easily be attributed to Lady Gaga's natural theatricality, The Simpsons have evolved as a peculiar touchstone in the complicated interplay between art and reality, creating a shadow of anticipation that occasionally corresponds with emerging events. Number 7. God Particle In the 1998 episode, The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, the Simpsons moved beyond its humorous limits in a fascinating dive into the domain of particle physics. This episode, which appeared to be unconnected to scientific investigation, 
had a faint but foreshadowing reference to what would ultimately be known as the God Particle. Within the animated story, the legendary character Homer Simpson finds himself absorbed in a flurry of difficult mathematical calculations, carving them onto a chalkboard. One of these complicated symbols foreshadows the mass of the Higgs boson particle, often known as the God Particle in popular culture. In the year 2012, reality unfolds with astounding symmetry. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, scientists gleefully announced the finding of the elusive Higgs boson particle. The Higgs boson emerged as a vital component in the history of particle physics, clarifying the perplexing mechanism by which particles gain mass. Although scientist Leon Letterman coined the phrase God particle in the 1990s, the illusion contained within an episode of The Simpsons garnered notice due to its later connection with a major scientific discovery. The cartoon reference to the Higgs boson particle, hidden within an episode about Homer's scientific ambitions, exemplifies the show's remarkable ability. While the episode may not have focused on the complexities of particle physics, this subtle connection is a powerful tribute to the show's broad understanding of science and culture. In a mesmerizing confluence of comedy and foresight, The Simpsons finds itself poised on the brink of discovery once more, delivering a delicate view into the future while weaving it into the fabric of entertainment. Number 6. FIFA Skangdan In the world of sports, The Simpsons once again showed their foresight with a 2014 episode titled You Don't Have to Live Like a Referee, which delves into the issue of corruption inside FIFA, the worldwide governing organization for soccer. The plot centered around Homer Simpson's unlikely time as a World Cup referee, a role that led him unwittingly to uncover a vast bribery network involving high-ranking officials. Surprisingly, a year later in 2015, reality echoed satire when a genuine FIFA corruption crisis shook the soccer world. In a shocking turn of events, the United States Department of Justice indicted a number of key FIFA executives on charges ranging from racketeering to fraud and money laundering. This real-world disaster exposed FIFA's ingrained culture of corruption, in which covert techniques like bribes and kickbacks were routinely deployed. While The Simpsons' depiction of the issue used hyperbole and satire for humorous purposes, the foresight in tackling FIFA corruption before it was publicly publicized cannot be underestimated. This demonstrates the show's capacity to recognize and incorporate relevant social topics and conflicts into its narrative weave. Aside from the laughs, the episode successfully used satire to raise attention to the possibility of corruption inside the high-stakes world of sports organizations, particularly ones as prominent and globally reaching as FIFA. Furthermore, the story provided a humorous representation of the growing public knowledge and scrutiny focused on FIFA's procedures, which would soon be exposed on a worldwide scale. This exemplified The Simpsons' function as an entertainment medium, as well as a cultural barometer, capturing, and even foreshadowing, current events of the period. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick, the incident involving the MV Dolly and its collision with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore on March 27, 2024, is indeed a significant event. This tragic accident led to the collapse of part of the bridge into the Patapsco River, prompting a swift response from emergency services. In the aftermath of such incidents, it's not uncommon for various rumors and theories to circulate, particularly on social media. One such rumor involves the long-running animated TV show The Simpsons, which is famously known for its uncanny predictions of future events. According to some claims, The Simpsons had previously aired an episode predicting this exact incident. However, it's important to approach these claims with skepticism. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Number 5. America Defeats Sweden in Curling In the 2010 episodes Boy Meets Curl of the beloved television series The Simpsons, a stunning intersection of fiction and reality occurred. The quirky idea of this episode is upon Homer and Marge Simpson who, in a charming twist of fate, come into a closed skating rink that has been transformed for the intriguing sport of curling. Intrigued by this newfound adventure, they start on a trip that leads them to the fascinating world of competitive curling. Homer and Marge's timid entry into the world of curling is laden with both humorous blunders and touching resilience. As the story progresses, their effort and indomitable passion led them to a surprising culmination an unexpected alliance with the United States curling team on the great stage of the Winter Olympics. An exultant conclusion takes center stage within the episode as the United States team, with Homer and Marge as vital components, scores an awe-inspiring triumph, capturing a coveted gold medal in the brutally competitive realm of curling. In an amazing premonition of real-life events, the United States team defeats their Swedish opponents, engraving their tenacious spirit and unwavering resolve into Olympic history. The astonishing convergence of fiction and fact came full circle in 2018 when the United States Olympic curling team, led by John Schuster, embarks on their own historic trip. 
This exceptional team, inspired by a common enthusiasm and steadfast devotion, wins the sport's first gold medal. In a surprising parallel to the Simpsons plot, the United States squad triumphs against Sweden in the 2018 Olympic Games, winning by a score of 10 to 7. The resonance between the written whimsy of Boy Meets Curl and the thunderous victory of the United States Olympic curling team's real-life win is a breathtaking monument to the inextricable interaction of fiction and reality. The episode's playful examination of an unusual sport unintentionally foreshadows the extraordinary feats that will adorn the international stage years later. Number 4. Disney's Acquisition of 20th Century Fox The Simpsons has shown to be not only a master of sociological and technology forecasts, but also a forerunner of key economic moves in its vast collection of episodes. A good example is the show's perceptive remark on Disney's impending takeover of 20th Century Fox in the 1998 episode, When You Dish Upon a Star. The Simpsons masterfully crafts a satirical thread involving a sarcastic sign outside the 20th Century Fox studio lot that hilariously declares it to be a division of Walt Disney Company. Designed as a playful jab at the rising conglomerates in the entertainment business, this seemingly innocuous addition took on an unexpected significance. Nobody could have predicted that this comedic exaggeration would become an actual reality. Fast forward two decades to December 2017, when Disney made news by announcing its intention to purchase 21st Century Fox for a stunning $52 billion. The completion of this deal occurred in March 2019, elevating Disney to the position of the owner of a vast treasure trove of intellectual property and drastically expanding its dominance in the entertainment industry. In a pleasant twist, The Simpsons had, although ironically, seen into the corporate universe's direction. The Simpsons demonstrated their ability to capture the giant of the entertainment business by deftly utilizing this narrative quirk. The show's whimsical yet astute insight served as an early warning sign of the tectonic transformations changing the business environment, serving as a perfect illustration of how artistry and reality may coincidentally collide. Number 3. National Security Agency Spying the Simpsons movie emerged as a resounding achievement in the 2007 cinematic landscape, using its cartoon appeal to skillfully handle the difficulties of ecology and the hazards of groupthink. The film's spectacular ascent to fame resonated throughout the world, with ticket sales totaling an amazing $536 million. The Simpsons became iconic fugitives inside its rich narrative tapestry. Their escape from the confines of a quarantined Springfield, sheltered behind an immense glass dome, acting as a rallying cry against a backdrop of societal threat. A critical moment occurs during the visual crescendo, one that unknowingly mimics the rising shadows of real-world monitoring. As The Simpsons' journey progresses, their open chats reverberate through the air, only to be intercepted by the ears of surveillance operators embedded within the National Security Agency, NSA. The settling collision of fiction and truth portends a narrative that shattered the curtain of privacy in new ways. The seismic tremors of 2013 revealed a surprising revelation that sent shockwaves throughout the world's awareness. The Edward Snowden affair told a startling truth. The NSA has been listening in on public conversations, creating an elaborate network of monitoring through phone calls and digital paths, all while cultivating a digital library of our ideas, musings, and internet discoveries. Snowden, a self-proclaimed patriot, positioned himself as the herald of transparency, warning of the looming shadows of unfettered authority. However, the ensuing chapters of Snowden's story take an unexpected turn, revealing a history made from a complex skein of views and values. Snowden's personal worldview exhibited evil behind the facade of good intentions, manifested in explicitly racist statements that threw a shadow of doubt over his purported reasons. Number 2. Smartphone Autocorrect In a foreshadowing scene, The Simpsons Season 6, Episode 8, titled Lisa on Ice, which initially aired in 1994, accidentally lays the basis for a common modern-day annoyance, smartphone autocorrect errors. The program provided a view into the future of digital communication, forecasting the all-too-familiar hassle produced by these digital blunders. In the animated story, Springfield's local bully, Kearney, uses an Apple Newton personal digital assistant to deliver a memo. He tells Dolph to write Beat Up Martin, but the fledgling technology, in a comedic twist, turns the order to Eat Up Martha. This hilarious exchange turns out to be a smart parody, making light of Newton's weak handwriting recognition capability. More than a decade later, in 2007, Apple introduced the iPhone, which had autocorrect capability. This invention, intended to prevent typing errors on the touch-sensitive keyboard, quickly became synonymous with funny and occasionally perplexing blunders, a digital quirk comparable to the problem that The Simpsons mockingly envisioned. The show's sarcasm, although seemingly benign, 
held a mirror to the trend of technological advancement, foreshadowing a global outrage that would echo through numerous smartphone users worldwide. This simple scene illustrates the incredible ability of The Simpsons to transcend the boundaries of comedy, unwittingly transcending into the realm of prophecy. Autocorrect mistakes have matured into a worldwide phenomenon, eliciting mutual enjoyment and frustration. The digital gaffes have inspired a slew of online memes and devoted websites, demonstrating their pervasiveness and relatability. What began as a little humor in a single episode has grown into a wonderfully prescient monument to the show's acute grasp of social trends. In this intersection of wit and foresight, The Simpsons serves as a model for how narrative may connect with reality, weaving an intricate pattern of satire and prediction. Number 1. Horse Meat Scandal In a 1994 episode, the program made a joke that would later mimic the 2013 horse meat scandal, which rippled across Europe. In the episode, Sweet Seymour Skinner's Battis' song, Lunch Lady Doris, the culinary overseer at Springfield Elementary, prepares student lunches out of horse parts, intentionally intended to emphasize the questionable quality of school meals. This quick comedy interlude turned out to be an eerily prescient forerunner to a real-world tragedy that unfolded over two decades later. Early in 2013, news surfaced that beef products sold in a number of United Kingdom and European shops included unidentified horse flesh. What appeared to be isolated incidents quickly grew into a full-fledged scandal involving several stores and suppliers across multiple nations. Initial testing in Ireland revealed the problem, which was followed by UK tests that revealed horse DNA in some beef products, with some recording as high as 100%. Aside from the existence of horse meat, the controversy showed a breach of trust and the frightening potential for food labels to grossly deceive. Concerns about food safety soared amid legitimate public outcry, owing to the animal's unknown origins and health state. The food sector went into damage control mode, recalling contaminated items and promising stringent tests and procedures. The European Union faced the complicated problems of its vast, linked food supply network, understanding that a single weak link may jeopardize the entire system. Fans of The Simpsons marveled at the unexpected prediction of the 1994 episode, drawing connections between the show's fictitious representation and the real-world disaster. While the makers of the program could not have predicted the specifics or extent of the 2013 catastrophe, their humorous dig at the murky provenance of processed food accidentally hit on a serious weakness within global food supply networks. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.